Like we just came into this gift shop and look at the theming. They have this Christmas tree all decorated for Animal Kingdom. That is really cute. for the first time at night that we were only here the one other time and it was during the daytime and we actually didn't ride anything because everything was like super duper long waits um, but tonight we do have a fast pass for the Navi River journey and we're gonna play it by year and see if maybe we could do flight of passage we'll see but oh look I'm my shirt is starting to glow and the ground is all bioluminescent look at that That is a really neat effect. Our shoes are like super duper glowy. <laughs> and in my jacket, we're just like, we're glowing. <laughs> so there are the floating mountains. And they have these plants that are glowing. This side right here seems to be like the best view, it looks like, of the mountains. Over here they have like some carts. I think that's where they do the face painting and then they have some little merchandise stands. And this is the entrance to, I believe, the river journey? The crazy thing is um, Pandora doesn't have any signs. They strictly just have like, you tell what the ride is by like these big symbols out front, which is pretty interesting. Definitely different for a Disney park. But oh yeah, so this one's the river journey. Probably crazy. Yeah, that one's two hours and 25 minutes. I don't even know what, or well, 225 minutes. So how many, that'd be like, that's still well over two hours. <laughs> Three hours pushing, yeah. So I'm gonna guess, it has to be in the 300s. Flight of the park, somebody said it was a five hour wait. Oh gosh, I know. <laughs> But you know, it's funny because I don't know when we'll ever get to ride it. It's like that from first thing in the morning, and as annual pass holders, we, we can't, can't make fast passes 60 days out like people mm -hmm. staying here. So, yeah, we may never get on <laughs> for a long time. <laughs> yes, we'll see. We're gonna we're gonna test it out. Hopefully, this trip at some point. It will happen, we'll make it happen. I've seen online where people like get here like first thing in the morning and they like literally run to um, Flight of Passage, but that just seems like such a mess of just like crowds and still even doing that, your wait is gonna be super long because so many people get here to try to attempt that. Uh, it, it's crazy, it's crazy. <laughs> Two eighty five, okay, so it's two eighty five. That's like well it's twenty minutes difference from the river journey. A nice little quiet spot in Pandora. It's a little water feature. I'm excited to check this one out. I heard it's definitely not like the premier attraction here is hands down Flight of Passage. That's the one that everybody talks about. But I'm excited to see Navi River Journey because you know we've never done it. It's a new new experience for us. Yeah. I bet if you really did wait till the very end of the night, you be able to get on. So that's a good sign. So Flight of Passage is right now at 180. 
couple minutes ago when we walked past, it was still at like 285. So that's a big, that's a big jump. So I really, I'm thinking if you would stick around until the end of the night, you probably would have a chance to ride it. So hopefully at some point during this trip, we'll make it happen. <laughs> Oh, the drum show is happening. Oh, that's pretty. Disney water smell. <laughs> so this one's actually 225, which is more than um, Flight of Passage is currently. I and mean, Flight of Passage is much more popular than this, so that's a little weird. Maybe it just hasn't updated yet. So, because they, they pulled up the Those are pretty, they're like big clamshells or something for their flowers. Now I wonder, is this here all the time or is this just for Christmas? That'd be something, something interesting. Yeah, that, I'm, I'm sure it's probably just here year round, but it's, it's our first time being here. So we're new to everything. Ooh. The queue is very pretty, very lush landscaping. Oh, and then we enter here into the like inside little hut part. Oh wow, look at the standby line. Yeah, no you know way, no, no, no. Here we go, I think it's just, just up here for us fast pass people. All right, we're in. My mom had just pointed this out. It gives the impression, look at this effect. It looks almost as though the walls are wet, like you're in a real cave. That's really neat. And right here I can smell that water ride smell right here. That's so cool. I didn't think this was a really ride, but okay. People are just so excited for this, I guess.
of the Navi River Journey for the very first time. And I really liked it. You know, I was hearing some reviews that, you know, it was kind of like underwhelming or like, but I really like, I would have to say I would never wait 200 and whatever minutes for it. I don't think I'd ever do that. But like, if it was ever like at a just regular time, absolutely. I thought that was really relaxing and beautiful. Like the scenes were, I mean, there was so much detail. I'm sure riding it again, I would pick up on even, you know, different things that I didn't notice this time around. I really, really loved it. I thought it was very, very well done. Just, it was very peaceful and serene and all the colors. It was very vibrant and I really, really liked that one. So that was awesome. Now that has me like even, like I said, a lot of reviews was like, you know, oh, Flight of Passage is hands down, you know, the best thing ever. And, you know, this one's kind of like, eh. Well, I thought that was amazing. So I can only imagine when I ride Flight of Passage for the first time, it's just gonna be incredible. I can't wait. <laughs> yes, more vibrant. Yeah, me and my mom were just saying like, you know, we really like, well, we were thinking of, you know, Pandora at night and it glowing. It's very dark around this dark. area. Very it's dark. very, very dark. I don't even know if you can see me right now when I'm talking. It being more like the ride that yes. we were just on where all of the yeah. luminescence and colors are so bright. So bright that, that it really, it, your way. exactly, like that would, if they could have like replicated what was in the ride like out here, that would be amazing. It's still very pretty, but it is just like, I mean, when you're trying to navigate right now, like it's very dark lit. Like I think other parts of Animal Kingdom are actually like at nighttime, you can see better than what this was supposed to be of, you know, it glowing. So yeah, I think maybe if they just kind of kick it up a couple notches, the brightness, then it would be, it'd be all good. Just kick it up a little bit, Disney. <laughs> but yeah, still very cute. Oh, and then this over here is Tiffin's. It's like a lounge, which I heard like incredible reviews over. So I think they have like some tapas stuff and things. So maybe sometime we'll try that. Oh yeah, Sherry said that. Yeah, our um, cousin who lives here. This was her recommendation. She said, I believe the executive chef is the same um, chef that's over at Sanaa. And we love Sanaa. It's one of our favorite restaurants on property. So I can just imagine that, yeah, that's probably why this place is so good as well. Oh wait, is it, um, yeah, this one's Nomad Lounge. That's also part of the, yeah, Tiffin's. And then that's the lounge for Tiffin's, gotcha. So we just got into Epcot and the display in the front is so pretty. We have some time before our fast pass is back in Future World. So we were like, you know, what should we do? Let's go in Mouse Gears. This shop is like one of my favorites. <gasps> Look at the decorations. I need to buy this right now. I seriously do. Excuse this me. is so cute.